Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Jack and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna to meet up with Dwayne Fields. He's an adventurer and an explorer. He's walked to the North Pole, he's crossed deserts, he's kayaked around Jamaica, and he's just an all round great guy. So we're gonna meet up, take him for a tandem flight. Let's get straight into it. I'm feeling good, man. Like we've got Jack in the background setting up everything. It's always nice when you don't, when you, you know, you don't have to set up anything yourself. And believe me, there's a lot that he's doing. If I did it, I wouldn't trust myself. I think he's all right though. And this bit of kit here is, it's every kid's dream, isn't it? I was listening to Rocket Man last night. Looking forward to it, man. You feeling nervous? Me? Uh, I live my life nervous. That's what makes it exciting. Conquer every little fear in it. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, but um, look, I've been up with him before. It's fun, it's great, it's an experience, and I learned lots that time. Enough that made me want to, uh, enough that makes me want to come back. I'll get it right. Yes, stuttered there. That was the nerves kicking in. <laughs> so last time I was on tandem with Jack, um, I got to fly a little bit. Brilliant. It's this sense of I don't know, absolute control, uh, absolute freedom, and I'm going to get to do most of that. So most of the flying we're doing today, I'm going to be doing. Uh, as soon as we get up off the ground, it's it's so liberating. I, it's just so liberating, just getting up there, controlling yourself, flying, looking down on birds, is what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, so looking forward to it. But I, I get excited like the way a ten-year-old would get excited. Perfect. I love it. I no. Love it. Maybe no, because when you're in a room full of cool people who are just very like, yeah, well, you know, I do this for a living and it's fine and oh, it's all right. And I'm there like, yes, I'm getting to have fun. I'm going to be paramoting. I'm going to be flying. I'm going to be up in the sky really, really high. I'm going to like, it's not cool. Then you look like a, you look yeah. like a bit of a. So we're all set up now. We've got the advanced PB set up. It's an epic wing. Can't wait to get in the air with it. And Dwayne's here. It's so nice to have someone so enthusiastic. You know, I've, I've had people that you take flying before and they're just a little bit like, yeah, that was, that was all right. And you know, it kind of, it, it hurts you a little bit because you know, you're so excited about the sport and you love the sport so much that when you take someone, you want someone to just be absolutely gassed about it. But when Dwayne comes, and even though he's already had a tandem flight before, he's like, yeah, let's go and do it. It's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be so much fun. You know, like a little 10 year old, it's amazing. On the flight, we're going to come down, do some low passes. This field is absolutely huge, so it's perfect for passing along, doing some low passes, maybe a bit of foot dragging. Then we're going to go on a little bit of a cross country, get Dwayne to fly, make sure he's taking over the controls and understands what's happening when he's piloting the wing. And then we'll get up higher and do some, I wouldn't call them acrobatics, but we'll do some wing overs, some spirals, and really show him what flying's all about. So what you need to remember, right? So one, one more thing you need to remember. So yeah. when you turn, you obviously go one arm up, one arm down. Yeah, yeah. But then before you do that, you look where you're going. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Look left, turn left. Perfect. So what the great thing about this is, right? When yeah. you're when you're tandeming, yeah, yeah, it gives you an opportunity to experience the air yeah. that we are now. Yeah. But I'm right here to you know monitor it, make sure we're all safe, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right, we'll have a break. I'll go fly us low so we can get some more yeah, yeah. footage. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about you, mate. Bro, let's, have a, let's, let's have a catch up. <laughs> let's go back to Joe Jack. I love doing stuff like this, man. I love anything that's cool. I love just getting out, having fun with fun people, man. 
Yeah, yeah I love like working with young people. We both know we had a, we had, you know, early starts in life that might not be perfect. And it's about, you know, doing things now that can improve our prospects and other people's prospects. So yeah. Young people, right? That's amazing. So you've got your own foundation and yep. you work with the scouts. So yep. What's, what's that all about? So you got your own foundation, you started a couple of years ago? Yeah, so me and me and my teammate, my expedition teammate, B.B. Smith, we decided to go out and, you know, do something. It's something that I was really passionate about anyway. We decided to do something that would make a difference to people. To use expedition and use the skills and our experiences to make the world a slightly better place. I and, love that. Yeah. I think it's so important that, like, there's a message that is spread to young people that, you know, you can do anything. I mean, oh. we, we're perfect examples of that. We're making a living out of something so totally <laughs> ridiculous, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I think you're spot on, man. I mean, I, I don't know many people that get to do this on a, on a Monday afternoon or a Monday <laughs> morning, but we're, we're getting a unique view of the British countryside. And I don't think there's many more things more British than a deer prancing across the field. Absolutely. All that we need now is a cup of tea up here, isn't it? Oh, tips. Tips are needed. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have told me ten, five years ago that I'd be doing this and, you know, making a living out of having experiences like this. I'd, I'd, I'd say you're bad. <laughs> Brilliant. It feels, it, there's just a, the sense of flying exposed like this makes you feel so free. Yeah. Is that why you love it? Yeah, for me, I think, Especially going back, I don't know, 10 years now, when I first started, it, it was a form of escape, form of meditation, you know? Yeah. I could go and fly, and obviously at the time, I didn't have any, at the time back then, I didn't have mortgage troubles or, yeah. or like, I don't know, um, the shower leaking or something stupid like that. Yeah. Yeah. Back then, you know, you have GCSEs, you have peer pressure, you have bullying. And for yeah. me, it was an escape from all of that, you know, I was I was heavily bullied in school and thought that I was never going to have any of these kind of um, cool opportunities. It feels never ending, you know, and, yeah. and for me, I could just go and fly my paraglider, fly my motor and, and just get, you know, a time away from all that to relax and not really think about it all. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, was, amazing. it was such a gift and I'm so thankful to my dad and my family in general that they've you know, providing such opportunities. Look, mate, I, I honestly, I, I get the sense that for you, this is an absolute lifesaver. Yeah. That's what I get from you. 100%, mate. I mean, we're 10 feet above the ground. This is great. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. Oh, God. If you were doing this, what would you be doing? Bloody hell, I don't know. So, I have done a HND in electronics. All oh, right. And, um, the idea was originally that I would go into uh, the oil and gas industry, so oh, really? I guess that's what I'd be doing. Well, that's the world away from this. It's different, isn't it? It's different for sure. I feel, I feel a sense of absolute freedom down here. Yeah. You know when you feel like you can do anything and go anywhere? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking right now. It's seriously empowering, isn't it? Because yeah. it's, it's something that no one or very few people in the world get the opportunity to do. Absolutely. And you joined me at, at 10 a.m. on a Monday morning, and you know, 10, 30, 11 a.m. we're in the air doing things that no one could dream of, really. I'll give you a little bit of a taste of the acrobatics that I do on a on a daily basis, I guess. They're climbing quite a lot. Why is that? So I'm just getting some altitude so that we can perform our maneuvers safely. Okay, cool. Let's do it start off with what we call wing overs which is a, a series of turns you know almost figure of eights so you could just try and be a sack of potatoes <laughs> yeah. um, you know if, if i turn That's left you can... <laughs> if i turn left you can follow me left and if i yeah. turn right you follow me right tell you what look at that buzzard down there isn't that beautiful oh oh wow look at that you know, he's quite happy, we're not just there with him at all. No, not at all, he hasn't even noticed that. Yeah. Right, let's do some wing overs then. Now turn left, now turn it right. Oh, there's a moment of weightlessness, almost weight. Oh, God. You tell me what to do. Mate, you're doing oh, great, that's wow. it. 
Okay, we're now going for a spiral. Yes, mate. It's good, eh? There you go. Perfect. Good job, mate. Really good job. Well, well done. That was sick. <laughs> yes, mate. There you go. It's just over your head. Woo! Oh, epic. Yes, mate, that was fantastic. <laughs> that was so good. That was so cool. <laughs> oh, gosh. I want to get out of this so I can get really, really excited <laughs> over on the sideline somewhere. Right, do you need a hand with it? No, you're good, mate. You're good. Bravo. <laughs> Gotta get that oh, smile man, on that camera. That was so cool. That was so cool. We did something called a wing over. Now, to all the novices out there, I'm a pro. <clears throat> No, I'm not, but it was amazing. It's hard to think that a material wing like that, which weighs probably what? 500 grams, 600 grams, 700 grams, maybe a little bit more. Five kilos. Five kilos. It weighs five kilos. I was almost wrong there. See, I told you you're a pro. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's amazing to think that you can be above the wing and the wing still keeps the shape and you still feel like you're being held by something. I think we just defied science, yeah. We were above. I've never, never had a perspective like this before. We were above two red kites and they didn't even pay attention to us. We were all riding the thermal. You got a chance to fly? You were flying loads? Yeah, yeah, I've got a chance to fly. It's, it's so intuitive, isn't it? Yeah. Like, well, you're you feel what it is. You're a natural. I'll give you that tenor in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, it feels so intuitive. You're flying, you know, you reach up, you pull a little bit and you feel the movement so you know exactly how much to do how much to pull, how much force to put on. It's, it's, it's something else, it's an experience I'll never, never, ever forget. Um, Jack, bro, no problem, oh, mate, you bro. are sick. <laughs> you Thanks are so sick for doing that. See you later, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what a legend. So I met, I met Dwayne on another film shoot a couple of weeks back and his energy is just so infectious to be around. You want to spend all your time with him. He's so positive about everything. He has such a good mindset and an attitude towards life that it, you know just makes you happy, makes you want to beam like a big smile for me. It, and that doesn't even make sense, beam a big smile, but you know, just have a big smile on your face, grinning from ear to ear. Taking people tandem reminds me of why paragliding is so special, you know, because you can get wrapped up in acrobatics and trying to perform the best maneuvers and, and trying to be the best you can be but really when you cut it back to basics and take someone along with you for the first time or even second third time it, it reminds you just how amazing it is to be flying in a straight line just to get off the ground 100 meters 200 meters and just be in the air be with the birds and get to see the world like no one else does really so having Dwayne's energy today was just amazing really good Monday morning and I just feel so thankful to start, have started the week like this really it's great if you want to know more about Dwayne I'll leave some links in the description he's an amazing adventurer explorer scout ambassador he's kayaked around Jamaica he's crossed deserts gone to the North Pole he's just an incredible human being really really inspiring so go check him out please and I want to hear all about your first experiences if you've gone in a paraglider you know if someone's taking you for a tandem if you had your first experience let me know in the comments and if you haven't then tell me kind of what your dreams are whether it's paragliding whether it's you know, crossing a desert, whether it's going to North Pole, I don't know. I just want to hear all about it. It's great to kind of hear from the community that we've got in the subscribers and, and know what you guys are up to these days, really. And um, if more of you could subscribe, then I'd really, really appreciate it. We've got like 10,000 views a month on the channel, but only like 100 subscribers a month. So that's absolutely pathetic. I want you guys to get involved. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe and leave a comment down below and I'll catch you in the next one.